Three has been closed near Van Rienen's pass after a major collision involving multiple trucks. Carl Van Rienen from emergency services provider um, G Med uh, joins us right now on the line for more details. Carl, thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. Can you tell us exactly, uh, you know, what is the status of this collision? Also, if you understand what happened in the incident. Yes, good morning and good morning to the viewers. Um, yeah, so this, this morning, uh, sort of just after six o'clock, uh, Major Med Paramedics, together with multiple other services, were dispatched to the N3, the vicinity of Van Rennens Pass, for reports of a multi vehicle collision. The reports that we're receiving from the scene now, luckily, well, remarkably, there's been no serious injuries. Um, a few motorists have been assessed for minor to moderate injuries only, but nobody's been taken to hospital. Um, we've got as many as five heavy articulated vehicles that have collided, um, occupying the Durban bound as well as the Johannesburg bound uh, with the roadway. Um, so traffic is affected and the roadway is closed at the moment. Uh, the services are working to clear the, the roadway as, as fast as possible. Um, it's obviously affected further by the inclement weather conditions that uh, KwaZulu Natal and the Free State is experiencing at the moment as well. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and we, we, I think it's good news, Carl, first and foremost, that uh, lives uh, at this point uh, were not necessarily, you know, on the line in terms of serious injuries are concerned. That's good news. In terms of the trucks themselves, I mean, um, were they carrying any goods on them? Um, the five trucks you just mentioned now that were involved in this multiple collision crash. Yeah, the report mm -hmm. obviously from the guys on the ground was uh, that nothing was of uh, you know serious hazardous material. Um, obviously, we're not experts really in that uh, mm -hmm. department, but nothing was reported that we needed to to be wary of. Um, and yeah, as you know, as you stated quite quite correctly, as soon as we hear or anybody, I think in South Africa now hears a truck accident on the N3 or well anywhere, but Fenerentz Pass is most notorious. You know, we sort of uh, do shiver in our boots, mm -hmm. and we most most definitely um, we expect to have multiple fatalities yeah. and especially in, in weather like we're seeing today across the country we are most grateful that uh, we didn't have any loss of life. Absolutely and we know that that uh, particular route Kyle also quite notorious right of uh, some of the worst and tragic accidents and crashes um, you know including trucks that have been involved in some uh, you know multiple times in terms of the weather condition that you've referred to what's your caution to motorists at this time time during this climate. Yeah, as you, know, as you correctly say, we, we see some terrible, well, actually, I think a better term is horrific yeah. um, accidents involving uh, articulated and, and trucks on that route. And then a lot of it contributed by uh, inclement weather conditions like we see today, especially when the mist um, fills that, that valley or that, that top of the hill there at Van Rennes Pass. And the conditions can get uh, very bad when it comes to visibility. And, of course, you know, it just comes to driving sensibly and driving responsibly, uh, decreasing following distance and making sure that your headlights are on and that you, you're buckled up and that you're driving sensibly. Um, rather get to your, your destination a little bit later and get mm. there safely than not get there at all. All right. Well, of course, before I let you go, uh, Cal, also understanding that, you know, you, you're not a member of, uh, you know, the, 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 the Metro uh, Police Department in as far as clearing traffic is concerned. Uh, but what's your estimation in terms of how long the scene do you think might be cleared? I understand that obviously this has affected traffic and alternative routes are advised to motorists at this time for them to take. Yeah, obviously I'm not an expert on, yeah. on that, on so how long it will take, and I don't want to make an estimation and, mm. and uh, be shot down for it. But um, look, it's, it's going to take some time, and I think we can just add on to the fact that obviously with rainfall, it will take even longer, and then there's the, the, the backlog that will then need to filter through. Right. So if you don't need to go anywhere, don't uh, until it is cleared. Well, thank you so much, Carl, for speaking to us this morning. Carl van Rienen, spokesperson for Emma G. Maid, speaking to us about the multiple uh, collision uh, and crash involving multiple trucks. I think about five, Carl had mentioned, uh, out at the van Rienen's Pass Road. Uh, this due um, at this point uh, to the weather conditions also witnessed in that particular region. This could cause, cause uh, you know, lack of clear vision for most motorists. So please exercise caution when you're driving in areas. KZN, Eastern Cape, we know these two provinces being heavily affected.
afflicted by uh, such uh, terrible weather conditions. When driving on the road, please make sure uh, that you are safe. But as we know right now, no serious injuries, of course, have been reported. The drivers only sustaining minor injuries. They haven't even been transported to hospital, which is good news when lives are preserved. Because we know oftentimes, particularly even on the route when there are crashes, as Kyle mentioned, they have witnessed some of the most horrific accidents. Uh, but please stay clear of that road because traffic might also be affected.